Hello YouTube. This is Fruit Loop. Fruit Loop is a swamp wallaby. People often ask when I live up on top of a hill, why do I have swamp wallabies living in my clearing? Well, see the water? This is my front yard. And it's been raining. And the swamp wallaby lives here because this is a swamp. Yesterday there was only a millimetre of rain, but this is my soil moisture evaporation gauge. And any time this gauge is above six inches, then the spring under my hut commences to run. When I was looking for a good place to build, I fairly understandably went looking for the flattest place. So I would have the least possible vertical fall on the foundations. And so, I thought this looks good. What it never occurred to me to think about was that the reason this was the flattest patch of ground around is because it's been levelled by water. And I actually built on a spring. And water comes up out of the ground under my hut. Here we are on the ground uphill from the hut. There's water. And the floor of my hut is actually slightly lower than there. And one of the things that's often pretty good fun is to stain this water with milk and see where it's flowing. Like so. Not much movement that way. Spreading out down there. And infiltrating here. There are tendrils of moo juice all the way down there. And the water actually comes up underneath the hut. So I'm hoping we don't get much more rain for a while. Swamp wallabies living on an alpine spring. Hydrological studies. A much better flow rate from that one, haven't we?
hydrological studies in milk. You can do scientifically valid experiments anywhere you like with a statistical universe of one. What we've proved here is that water is in fact bubbling up under the ground and this rustic simplistic little humpy is built on a spring. Ciao!